Hello, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Uh, very good, very good. Just yeah, good day. first time in Kuala Lumpur. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm from Lithuania. We just came from Thailand. Okay. okay. Yeah. Nice to meet you, bro. Nice to meet you, man. Have a good day, yeah? Have a good day. So Take care. Bye bye. Take care. Here, everybody just comes up to you and talks to you straight up. Uh, and yeah. Hello, who are you? It's like, wow. It's pretty cool, though. I like that. Apparently, this building just behind me here is the second tallest building in the world. What? That is crazy! So we've been traveling full-time in Southeast Asia for quite a few years now and I'm surprised we haven't been to Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur before. Yeah. We heard so many things about this place, a very multicultural place, a, a lot of food, a lot of cuisine. I mean like, dude, I can't wait to explore this place. Are you ready, babe? I'm so excited. It's so nice to be in a new country and so far it seems like there's a lot to do here. So let's go and explore. Yeah, let's do it. See what KL has to offer. We're in Chinatown right now and the first thing we've noticed is the street art everywhere. Like really cool murals. We were in Bangkok not so long ago. We've been there many, many times and we, got, we thought it was going to be like as crazy as Bangkok. And to be honest, everything seems like well developed, well compact. And I feel like you don't have to walk too far to get to places, which I really love that. Right? Yeah, it takes like 30 minutes just to walk across the main city center. Yeah which is really good you save money on taxis and public transport because in Bangkok it would take like two hours I know it, it's a side. crazy crazy place and this feels way more chilled another thing we've noticed here in Malaysia so far is that everybody pretty much everybody speaks really good English all the signs are in English if you're a first-time traveler it's pretty helpful and useful there's obviously traffic because it's a capital city but to be honest it's not too bad it's not like crazy jams or anything like that so we've been working for a little bit right now and we see malaysian flags everywhere uh we were talking to this cab driver and apparently he said that there's going to be a national day on the 30th of august 31st. 31st i think that's the last day of the month okay well guess what we're going to be here for it can't wait to see it yeah i want to see what happens i saw them setting up loads of like chairs and stuff and that there's going to be a parade so yeah. that would be really cool i just saw this guy smiling at us it's so nice like everybody's just smiling at us that's cool. I like a smile. It's like an international language. Walking past some of the restaurants, you seeing the locals eating looks so good. I really can't wait to explore the cuisine in here and make a bunch of videos about that as well. You ready for it? I'm so ready. Just walking around and looking at the buildings. There's a really nice mix of old and new here. Like there's these old vintage looking buildings it looks like they've been there literally forever it feels like you have that uh, culture as yeah. well as like the tech the modern stuff yeah. you know love it and then there's the big high rises the second largest building in the world which is crazy second tallest sorry keep seeing people on these like uh, scooters apparently you can rent them and just roam around the city but they look, they're really quiet we've had people come up behind us and we didn't know they were there because the scooters are just like silent. Are they electric? Yeah, of course they are. It's pretty cool. No, they're powered with diesel. It smells so good here and the temperature just dropped significantly. And then we realized, I think we're right next to the eco park that's like in the center. Yeah. Somewhere there. I think we should go in there another day. Look at this here. It's a cool building. Little round windows with trees all around it. And then this whole wall is painted. I love how there's so much art and creativity in this city. Everywhere you walk, it's like you could take a picture of everything. Even the floor is painted. All yeah, right, it's pretty cool. It's like an artist just came to KL and painted everything. Right? <laughs> I was even thinking to bring my skateboard out here, but I'm not entirely sure. Are you allowed to cruise on a skateboard in the city? Are you? If you guys know, let us know in the comments below. Look. Wow. Everywhere we look, there's something cool. I know, right? <laughs> to be honest, guys, I think this is one of the nicest cities to walk around. It's quite hard to walk around bigger cities. You always have to cross over those massive bridges. You can't walk cross the road half the time. I know. And the best part is, I think, that there's not that many people. Yeah. Like right now, for example, just give us a little 360. Like there's no one else walking right here. I haven't I, seen anyone walking, I know, right? Really. I mean, we're heading to Petronas Towers. I know you probably guys seen so many videos about those twin towers and everyone who comes here does the exact same thing and we're doing it as well just because it's us here for the first time <laughs> Bukit Nana's Tunnel hmm, what's up? Should no we, clue should we visit? should, should we do it in another video yeah? yeah I see the famous tower. let's get closer another thing we notice here is that there's a lot of construction that means the city is still developing there's a bunch of cranes everywhere so no idea what it's gonna be like in the next like 10-20 years I think it's 
cents. Yeah, it does. Unless it means something. In hey, baby, have we got 50 cents? <laughs> We're nearly there. You can see the Petrona Tower. It looks so trippy here. It's like glistening and reflecting all the other buildings. And here's the real thing. <laughs> what? Oh, dude. Oh, dude. I can't believe we're here. I know the Petronas towers are really cool, but this building is also pretty cool. Let's give it some. I credit. know, right? It looks like Singapore or something. It's Just like a rainforest in a building. I know. That's such a great idea. We need more of those. I feel like I'm in like anime or something like that. Looking at it, it feels one of the anime cartoons or something where I've seen it before. You know, maybe Akira or something like that. Yeah, it looks pretty mad. So, what do you think of Petronas towers, Olivia? I think it looks like a futuristic Angkor Wat. That's I know, what I'm right? going with. It has that very like Southeast Asian kind of style to it. Yeah, like and the structure like that. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Uh, it literally is one of a kind. And if you've never been here before, you should totally come and visit. I, I think it is totally worth it. What do you think? It's worth it, yeah. I mean, I don't know how much it is to go up, but I'd love to go in that little section in the middle. Oh yeah, the bridge. Yeah. How much is the ticket to go up the Petrona Twin Towers in Kuala Lumpur? according to some information I found on Petronas Twin Towers. So we just asked Google and the prices are 80 per person. It's pretty good, it's not too it's bad. Like $18? It, yeah, $20? it's $18, yeah. But since we are full-time travelers and we're travels and toast, if you haven't seen our channel, we'll literally travel fully on the budget, full-time. It's a little bit out of our budget. No Petronas Towers today, baby. Sorry. It's okay. Well, I'm getting pretty thirsty. We've been walking for quite a little while now. Do you want to get some drinks or something? Yes, please. Definitely no Coca-Cola, yeah? No, not Coca-Cola. So boring. Well, let's see if we can find some local drinks around here. Yeah. So we just bought drinks from 7-Eleven because we can't actually find any local places around here. It's more like banks and like big buildings and stuff. There's not much of local shops and stuff. So if you guys know where to find traditional Malaysian drinks for us to try, because we have no idea about anything yeah. right now drop them below in the comments yes. we'd love to try them 100%. but yeah i think it's gonna rain soon yeah it looks like it's getting cloudy and we're gonna try and get our first ever train in kuala lumpur no idea how to buy a ticket by the way just in case no motorcycles allowed there cool thing about kl is these only turn on when you get close to them so they're like completely still and then you walk up to them and they start moving high tech baby Alright, where are we going? Is that the name of the Chinatown walking street? I have no clue. Uh, there's so many different lines, it's kind of confusing. We should probably go and ask. Yeah. How do we get to Chinatown? To Chinatown, yeah? Maharajanela. I feel like the winds are increasing, it's gonna rain very soon, we should hurry up. Where are we right now? Okay. We're um, here. I guess. Is that on the map? I have no idea. Oh no, that's the price to get there. Okay, I thought that was the number. Um, okay. Uh, so the green line is green. Oh yeah, okay, got it. Two people. There we go. Six. Malaysia Six bring it, which yeah. is like not even like it's a dollar. It's way cheaper than getting a cab, right? Yeah, we've been taking Grab taxis, which is a bit more expensive, like seven to eleven ring it. This is cheaper. We can't use big notes, we just had to go and change the smalls. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's the change. Oh, yeah, this is it. That's two tokens. Okay. And, uh, and some change. Woo. I think we're good to go. Boom. Oh, fast. These things are always confusing when it's your first time. It's our first day, so bear with us. We're going to KL Central. Our stop is on the way. Two hours later, we are in some weird ass village. I'm sure we know. I'm sure we'll be alright. We're just right in time because it just started raining right now. Pretty good. We heard that it rains a lot in KL. So. Yeah, apparently every afternoon, pretty much about 3 or 4 o'clock, and it's about that time right now. Yeah. Spot, spot on, right? <laughs> We're here. Olivia is like a little squirrel in a big city. I have no idea what's going on. You look so confused. I'm like, where's the button to get out? But it opens by itself. Boom. I think we made it. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Thing is, guys, we've been in Laos for like two years, then Thailand, then Laos again. And you know, the trains out there is a little bit 
different it is not as much tech out there so yeah it makes sense that you have to put the coin right there and it opens up as simple as that and the cool part is that i feel like we're somewhere very close to our house it says i can't get through what did it say it says use a card now I don't have a what did you not go on time or something I put the token in it right i'm gonna go get some help in here see if we can get olivia out of the station all right there's a coin right there yeah Boom! She's free! Thank you! <laughs> yeah, she, oh you made God. it! <laughs> I feel like a village girl who just came to the big city for the first time. I have no idea what I'm doing. A country girl coming to the big city! Woo woo! Oh, it says we have to go all the way up and round to get there. Guys, we made a mistake. So basically, our accommodation is very close. It's just from here to here, but apparently we have to walk all the way around like this on the maps and it says no. it takes one hour, 27 minutes. Surely not. That's surely not the case, right? Oh my God. No way. I, I think we should stop looking at Google Maps and find a different way down or something. I, I'm guessing it's somewhere that way over there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we get there before one hour and a half, what Google Maps say. Yeah, it says it's just there. I don't understand. Here's some guys doing some street work. Yeah. I've seen a lot of these paintings here around KL and it looks amazing. Is that you guys? Yeah, yeah. Oh wow, it's amazing what you're doing. Where? Okay. Oh, there's another guy doing over there, just right there. That's so cool. Keep doing a great job, guys. Making it nice. Thank you. We're like, what the hell? Where are we going here? And actually, that big building that we we're at at the beginning of the video is just right there so i'm pretty sure we'll get there in no time overall first impressions of kl was pretty damn cool i'd say it's a very well developed city a lot of culture a lot of diversity and it's something that we really like yeah there's a lot of public transport connections it's actually really easy to walk as well yeah. you could try out those e-scooters which also look kind of fun yeah we might have to do that in the next video yeah. though the only thing that we don't really have a first impression of yet is the food and the drinks and i snacks. can't wait to be honest guys we are such foodies and trust me we never tried malaysian food yet and it's gonna be really excited so buckle up for future videos <laughs>